Hello everyone, in this video we'll see how we can use XML configuration to manage our Spring Beans instead of let's say uh, annotation. So in this very simple Spring Boot uh, project I have these two classes. The first one is this data source class and we add the component annotation to make it a Spring Bean. And the second uh, class that we have is the service class and we add again component to make it a Spring Bean. And we want to inject the data source in our service so we can use it in this method. So we use AutoWired to inject the data source in our constructor. So this is a constructor based uh, injection. So right here, what I'm going to do is just going to delete all of this annotation because I no longer want to use annotations in my project. Instead, what I'm going to do is just going to create a XML file in the resource folder. Let's call it whatever we want. I'll name it XML or beans.xml and the first thing we need to do is to I will copy some tags from the Spring uh, official documentation let's do it so I'm gonna delete all of this so right here we have this tag and this is the main tag the beans tag and inside of this beans tag we'll be defining all our beans so just before uh, starting to create our bean we need to add this we need to create a new context a new spring context and we tell it that we'll be using this xml file as a source of our beans and to do that we just go to the main method and we create an application context let's call it context and this is just an interface we need a implementation and we have a large implementation for the application context and one of them is the class path xml uh, application context that we'll be using and in the parameter we'll be passing in our beans xml file there we go and that's it that's literally how we tell uh, the context we create a context and we tell it that we'll be using our beans xml as a application context xml application context so let's go back to our beans uh, uh, beans uh, xml file so let's create our first bean the data source bean and to do that we just create we just use this bean tag right and this bean tag will be given two attribute the first one is the id and this id is just a identifier for our bean as a unique identifier for our bean uh, let's call it data source and the second parameter we'll be using is class and right here we just simply tell our bean uh, where is the class that we'll be using for this specific uh, bean and obviously we want to use this class so we specify it right here in the class uh, attribute so just write in our package there we go so data source and that's it like this is how i simply created my spring bean with just this one line now let's create our second uh, spring bean service and to do that simply create a new bean let's give it again uh, ID to identify it service service there we go and again the class and the class is the service class let's pass it in there we go and right here as we saw earlier early, 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 earlier we pass in the data source in the constructor so we can do injection so we can use this instance or this spring bean in our service class and we do the same thing in uh, xml and how we do that is pretty simple we just use uh, constructor argument this is uh, another tag that we use inside the bean and we simply pass in the reference to the uh, bean and that's it with just this simple tag we simulated the auto wired that we had early uh, <laughs> that we had before right here there we go let me get it out the way and that's pretty much it like uh, that's it i created the data source bean and i use it right here inside the service bean that i just created so now let me go to the application context and let me run my let me run my main method okay so we have everything passed in just fine Okay, so now let's use uh, the get bean factory method to get our service bean and use it uh, to call this get info method. 
So we can use context.getBean. And right here, we just pass in uh, the class, so a service. Oh my god, sir, service dot class. And right here, I'll call the git info method. And by the way, we can also pass in the ID to make sure that we have the, the correct bin. And we do that just right here before the as a first argument. So let's run our main method and see if it's gonna work. There we go. So right here, I have this data pointed in my console that we have it from the git info method. Now, let's say you don't want to use uh, the construction based uh, injection. Instead, you want to use a setter. So you want to set your bean. You want to set this data source bean using a setter. We can do that, obviously. The first thing I need to do is to change. It's no longer final. And I need to create a setter. And we can do that simply by using our friend IntelliJ and telling him to create a setter for us. There we go. So right here we have a setter. And how do we do that in Spring uh, in the XML file? So we no longer have a constructor. So we delete this constructor act. Instead, we have a property. And the property name gonna be data source. And that's pretty much it. No. That's not pretty much it. We need to add the reference. And the reference is data source. There we go. So just let's see again, we have a property, right? So this one, this property, data source, and the reference for this property is the data source pin, this one. And let's run our uh, application again, the main method, and it should give the same result. It should print in data. There we go, so it works just fine using this time setters and not the constructor. And that's pretty much it for this video. By the way, there is a lot of things you can do with XML configuration, like a lot of things that you can check for yourself in the official Spring documentation for the IUC container. I'll leave this in the uh, comment section if you want to check it for yourself. And that's pretty much it for this video. Bye-bye.